Alright, hello y'all, Bonan here. So, um, Overwatch's newest hero, Orissa, something like that, is here. She's in PTR, obviously probably will be for a couple weeks, maybe a month, maybe longer, maybe less. Who knows? So, with this nice new server browser they've given us, I decided to set up a game with control points where both sides are in the same boat, so it's even, and only the new hero. And it took all of about five minutes for it to fill up. Someone just left, but meh, whatever. So, yeah, now I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I think they need to do, and just kind of play and have fun, because new heroes are awesome. One thing, so, first off, biggest thing that I have noticed with this hero that needs to be changed is that, um, so obviously her grab surge thing doesn't do any damage. That's good. It shouldn't. That'd be stupid. But if she, because of that, if she uses it to pull someone into a pit, she does not get, she often does not get any credit for that kill if she didn't do damage to them first. Like, for uh, Lucio, etc., do damage when they use their knockback attacks, thus they get the credit for the elimination, they get 100 fire, etc, etc. But because she does no damage with her, with her atta that attack, she does not get that credit for those kills, which is obviously disappointing. If I pull someone into a pit like a badass, I want to get credit for it, because I just did something awesome. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's almost, uh, we'll see how it shakes out, but it's sort of looking like whoever takes the point first keeps it, but actually, no, maybe not, but yes, yeah, she is definitely a very heavy tank designed to hold points, not designed for pushing, not designed for anything like that, although she can be very effective on payload by putting down all those barriers on the payload. And then, um, well, then you have a lot of firepower. Um, I noticed that everything actually does have a timer on it, like the barrier, obviously it can be killed, but it also goes down after enough time. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, it doesn't really typically tend to have a big impact on the game. So usually they'll be destroyed or by the time it's down, whatever, the next one's ready, or whatever, what have you. But, um, that, I have had it go down right in front of me, it's like, well, oops, I'm dead. However, I don't think that's really a problem. It would be nice if there was a timer on how long yours is going to last, because obviously it recharges faster than it falls, which makes sense, it would suck otherwise. But, um... You don't know, since you don't know when it's going to fall, just based on the time limit, that can cause some problems. Mm. I like the, the little charge, you can actually detonate at will. You don't have to wait for it to collide with something like with Zarya Salt. It's actually something I've said for a while, it would be kind of nice with Zarya Salt, although it could be a bit overpowered, so it's nice to see that they have done it with her. Uh. Uh. Oh, she's just coming up behind me, isn't she? Oops. No. Oh, dude, that was close. Good thing that hadn't respawned. Okay, so, yeah, but definitely, I've, as you can see here, where it's not changing hands a whole lot, she is very good at just taking a point and then holding it. Let's see, does that work up and down? Yes, it does. Oh, that's nice. Dang it, I died. Protect the damage booster. But yeah, so, fortunately it does work up and down. It's not just... Uh, uh, let's see, what does she track? Damage amplified, damage blocked, kill streaks, weapon accuracy, offensive assist. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it might be kind of cool if there was um, environmental kills on there. I think that could be nice. But, um, yeah. Overall, I'm very much liking her kid. It doesn't seem too overpowered, but it doesn't seem weak either. 
which is uh, always a challenge. As you can see, this actually did end up going back and forth a little bit, so I am going to keep the game set up this way. And... Eight minutes? Yeah, that seems like long enough for me to have been babbling on. I'll probably have another video, kind of a breakdown, talking about a different crap. But this was a nice uh, opener, 12v12. Sweet. Alright, uh, y'all, so those were my first impressions of the new hero, Orissa. I think she's awesome. I cannot wait to see what she does to the meta. I foresee some nerfs and maybe some buffs. They might reduce the damage on the cannon, they might increase the reload, who knows. There's always rebalancing before hero goes from PTR to standard servers. But overall, I think she's pretty well balanced already. I think it's going to be a ton of fun, and I've really enjoyed it. Also, this might be the best golden gun ever, because it is just so cool. It's not in the video, but definitely look at it, it's fantastic. Alright, so if this was your first time here, or you've been here before and you never subscribed, you should. I put out stuff like this. I'd like to say weekly, but I don't. I'm going to be honest. I put it out when I can. Uh, give the video a like, comment, what do you think of the new hero, and uh, check out some of these other videos. i got TF2 and Overwatch. Renine, out.